Hello, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna to show you how I built this Ninja Turtles sewer diorama for my classic Ninja Turtles. I start out by making some measurements. I do the basic layout on craft paper, just to give me something to go by. I'm using XPS foam or insulation foam. You'll see me gluing a couple of pieces together, but later I went and actually bought more sheets. This is my Proxon foam cutter. It's very effective. It's like a table saw for foam. I do a quick test fit. I've tried a couple of different adhesives. I've found that Super 77 is probably the best, but it takes some time to set up, and eventually I just go with hot glue. I started using toothpicks to hold the foam together, but I found that pens work better. Now to work on the back. I've got a miter fence that allows me to cut angles on my hot wire table. Next I start making a grid and marking out all the brick pattern for my background. And then I run a crinkled up ball of tin foil over it to make it look a little bit more textured. I use straws to create a series of pipes to help sell the sewer aesthetic. I think Donatello approves. So it's all just sort of pinned together with toothpicks right now, so I can't really set it up, but you, know, you basically get the idea. For this side, it'll probably be a big pipe, so I haven't made that yet. So I'm thinking the next step is to tear this all apart, paint, texture everything, and then put it back together, and uh, then add the final details. Here I'm mixing Mod Podge with black paint to give a base coat. The Mod Podge gives it a sort of a protective layer, thanks to Black Magic Craft for the idea. The circle cutter is really handy. I got it from shiftinglands.com.
been experimenting with painting and just kind of seeing what looks right for the brick on the back wall. And uh, at first I started with a dark color to make the grout lines dark and then like dry brushing like a lighter color um, like here, like some green or red. Um, and it looks okay, but I don't love it. So then I was like, well, why don't, but grout is like sometimes like brighter than the stone color, the brick color. So I started messing around with that and I'm much more happy with like that um, solution. So I'm going to paint this whole back wall a sort of grayish, a light gray, I mix some white gesso with some black acrylic. And I'm just gonna like mud it on. Um, so it really gets in the grout lines. Um, and then what I've been doing is I've been like wiping it off, kind of sh pushing it into the grout lines. Um, and that's really kind of giving a, a nice effect. So I'm gonna keep playing with that and then uh, come back and do some dry brushing to like bring out like this, the brick color as well with some like darker gray. So see how that works. I think I'm going to leave it at that for right now. I don't want to overdo it. So let's see where the next step takes me. So I've got some black wash and I've got a syringe. I'm just going to see what happens if I just kind of spray a little in some of the crevices. And then wipe off. All right, that wash is too potent. Let's just see what that does. <laughs> Got an orange mixture to be kind of a little bit of rust maybe. And just go sparingly. See what that looks like. I have uh, set my wall in, just kind of set it up so that I could start like doing the weathering holistically. I've got my little Donatello, who is my favorite Ninja Turtle. I got him just kind of standing in, just kind of helping to inspire, you know. Uh, I think the next step that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue in this wall and then I'll start adding the details of the door and, oops, start adding these things in and then I can start uh, like the finishing process. This is super fun. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is I've got some gaps here where I can quite nail the dimensions. So I'm going to mix up a compound called Sculptamold and I'm going to fill the gaps and it'll also kind of act as like grime and dirt and stuff that's accumulated at the corners. Should make it feel a little bit more real and uh, go from there. I look like slime you'd find in a, a sewer. I'm using my airbrush to create graffiti. Here's a test that I did.
forgot to record doing the heart, but there it is. I heart in Y. And I bet that's probably Michelangelo. He seems like a tagger, maybe. I don't know, or maybe it's just someone else. Maybe the turtles don't tag the subways. Maybe they do, I don't know. But there it is. So I got this all painted up, just straight flat black. So now I'm gonna make it look a little bit more like pipes and then I'm gonna make it look rusted, that kind of thing. Got the set pretty much built, got it weathered, got everything almost ready to go, just have to glue in the top. But before I do that, I want to wire up the LEDs. I've got a couple of yellow LEDs and then a white one. The white will be up here sort of serving as like daylight or moonlight coming down from this hole here. And then I've got some little globey things that I'll have the yellow ones in and they'll be just like light fixtures. Now I gotta figure out how to wire this up to this nine volt battery. I've got a little on off switch, but I'm not quite sure where to fix that yet. So I'm still working on that. got a test circuit built, wired all of these guys in series. So if I turn on the on off switch, all of the lights come on. One thing I forgot to put in the circuit was a resistor, so I can go back and add that. Install. Gotta move these guys out of the way. We'll set them over here. And here we go. Now, I did a test fit and it's super tight. So, lesson learned next time be a little more precise. Push this in place. All right, I'm gonna check the button. The lights still come on. All right, now let's get the turtles. Donatello. Casey Jones kind of hanging out here. Got Raphael kind of coming out of there. Leonardo going up the ladder. And you got Michelangelo right there. Looks pretty cool. This is super cool. I've always wanted one of these and now I have one. So here it is, the finished product. I am so pleased with this. It is beautiful. It's a great conversation piece. It's a cool place for my turtles to live. Beats the heck out of the box they were living in upstairs. I would like to call out Black Magic Craft on YouTube. He uh, does an amazing job with miniatures. I learned most of the techniques I used on this from him. So check him out. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you don't mind. That would be great. And share with your friends. Anybody that loves nerdy stuff and making stuff, I would really appreciate it if you would share it. I'll see you on the next video.